So I'm just sitting here waiting for my water come to a boil. I'm testing out a new little project, a new small DIY hobo stove. And I thought, well, why not, when the water comes to boil, use it, make some coffee. I th then I thought I'd uh, share with you a little hack that I have, or it's not new to me, you'll see it in a second, for making uh, coffee in your Stanley Adventure pot. If you're interested, stay around. Okay, so my water has come to boil, my Stanley Adventure cook pot. And like I said, this, this is not revolutionary. You likely have seen this somewhere else before. If you haven't, then I'll share it with you. So what I'm doing is I have just over 18 ounces of water in my Stanley right now. And I have three good heaping tablespoons of coffee ground to a coarse ground. So the water has come to boil. I like to wait just a few seconds for it to come off of the full boil. Pour my coffee in. Give that a bit of a stir. And that can sit for a minute or two when well, you move on to the next step. And here's the hack. Nothing, nothing new, nothing original. You've probably seen it before. This is a French press. Now I happened to pick this one up at, at uh, Value Village, our thrift store in Halifax. It was brand new, still in the box, still in the bubble wrap, so I was fortunate. I got to think for $5. They're not expensive to buy new. But, uh, I, you know, I thought this was a nice looking one and it was going to work for this project. So, um, all you do is take the top or the press part out, put the glass part aside, and you're going to plunger that down inside the Stanley French Press, or the Stanley Adventure Cup. Now, one thing I will point out, it does make a difference what style of French Press you get. Most of them are this style, which is a bit of a wire screen with a spring around the outside so that it will conform to the to the pot but make sure it's one that fits your pot so this one is a standard six cup French press so most of those should work and you just simply put it down inside and slowly press down into the coffee and it'll, the spring and the screen will conform to the sides of the pot and you'll notice that it doesn't go all the way to the bottom on the pot which is good because I like to lift it a little bit and have something to pour it into now I'm going to pour it into my GSI glacier cup, my well-used, bottle well of GSI glacier cup, and that's what I'm going to be drinking out. But I should point out that this press will also fit in the glacier cup, and it'll also fit in my 750 millimeter or milliliter Tom Shoe titanium pot as well. So if you don't have a Stanley, but you do have a glacier cup, or you do have one of the titanium pots, the French press idea will work just fine for that. So that's now ready to pour, and I can pour that very carefully into, oh man, does that ever smell nice? And I have these nice little Snow Peak uh, lip guards that you can purchase at sporting goods stores for, I don't know, two bucks or three bucks for a pair of them. They're a silicone lip guard so I don't burn my lip. It's still a little bit hot, but that's what I'll be drinking from as it cools down a little bit. Yeah, that's it. That's all there is. That's the hack. You've likely seen it before. If you haven't, it may be something you want to add to your kit for making a nice cup of coffee in the woods. All you need is to go out and get yourself a French press that has the piston of the, or the press portion of it the right diameter for your Stanley or your GSI or your Tom Shoe. And I'm sure there's other parts as well that it will fit and you've got an instant press. If you really want to, you could cut it off and make it a little more compact so that it fits with the pot. But uh, yeah, that's it. Mm, still hot. Oh, but tasty. Okay, that was just a quick hack to uh, offer you another way of making coffee while you're in the woods that makes a nice cup of coffee without any grounds. If you don't like co the concept of making cowboy coffee or carrying filters, the French press makes a wonderful cup of coffee. The, uh, very usable and very sturdy as well. You don't have to worry about carrying a glass carafe around that comes with the French press. That's all I have for you today. So if you've enjoyed this video, you may want to consider subscribing, hit the like button. But until next time we see each other again, get out and explore. Take that path less travel. It'll make all the difference. Bye for now.